A lot of creatures turning up in Christmas trees before it happens all the time in the southeast. But can you imagine how startled a Noonan family was to find an owl roosting in their Christmas tree? Yeah, was that an ornament? No, it just moved. <laughs> it's real. Their 10-year-old jumped when she thought <laughs> what an ornament was turned out to be looking right back at her. Caitlin Ross talked to the tech who delivered the owl back to its natural habitat. Caitlin, when you see the pictures, you see it might be easy at first not to be certain this was alive, but beautiful creature. It is beautiful. <laughs> and the interesting thing was this family loves owls, so they actually have a number of owl ornaments in their tree. Huh. This one just happened to be living. They are tiny. They only weigh about a quarter of a pound, and they can make themselves look even smaller when they're scared. But beyond adorning the Christmas tree, Chattahoochee Nature Center wildlife tech Don Ellerman says the owl was in perfect health. It really didn't phase me until she said, um, this is not a prank. So I thought, well, this is interesting. Wildlife tech Dawn Ellerman doesn't typically make house calls, but this she had to see. Oh my gosh, could you imagine seeing an ornament turn and look at you and, you know, how spooky that might feel. The Newman family dubbed it Owlgate on Facebook and posted pictures and videos of the little owl that made a home in their Christmas tree. In one post, they say, who needs a star when you have an owl atop your tree? but the family called the Chattahoochee Nature Center when their decoration didn't leave. She had done all the right things. The family had left all of the windows and doors open, which is what you want to do to try and get that guy out of there. Since we don't know if it came with the Christmas tree, we don't know if it flew in. So Ellerman drove over to Noonan with a Christmas feast she hoped would lure the owl outside. I brought two dead mice in case it needed, well, that's what it would eat, yeah. She says the Newman family helped make sure the owl had everything it needed to feel safe. And they were thrilled. They were super interested in the process and what I was doing, and they were involved and very helpful. They were so into it, they started a fundraiser for the Chattahoochee Nature Center. You know, the animals don't pay rent, so it's always great to have donations, and they really tried hard to help us. Ellerman identified the bird as an eastern screech owl. She showed me one just like it at the Nature Center. They are native to this area, and the family's yard will be a perfect habitat for the owl that was in their tree. It's perfect for a screech owl, and uh, it's pretty isolated, which is also good. They were able to self-release the owl when it got dark Saturday night, though the family swears they can still hear it hooting in the distance. And I think they named it Santa Claus. The family named it Santa Claus because it had red on its chest and it was so cute. But the Nature Center says they stay away from naming owls because it's actually a federal crime to keep wildlife as a pet. But as soon as we posted this story, a lot of you had a lot to say. Some of you say finding a pet owl in your tree might be a Christmas miracle. Patricia says she loves it and her granddaughters would have thought it was an awesome surprise. Mickey says he would have let the owl stay. He says he even would have fed it and made sure it was as comfortable as possible. But Teresa brings up a good point here. What do you expect to happen when you steal the owl's home? Yeah. So I don't know, I think I would have jumped out of my skin if I saw an <laughs> owl in my Christmas tree. I would have loved it though. They really are spectacular. They're so beautiful. It's a good point that you can't keep them as a pet, right. but I'm sure the family would love it if it stayed in the yard. You know, we see a lot of them in Atlanta Metro in True. Georgia, but big ones. Yes. I, I, I see them at midnight when I'm driving home at night in Midtown oftentimes. They're one of the most amazing creatures on the planet. They I really mean, are they, they incredible. Really are incredible. This one's yeah. just a little guy though. It's a little, a little guy. sweet. He's so cute. Little sweet Santa Claus. Yes. All right. Caitlin, thank you.